Hello and welcome to our daily sketching routine. It is Monday, October 21st, 2024, and today's topic will be, I'm going to call it Detailing Gesture Drawings. <clears throat> and as you can see, I did this page on October the 7th, and I recorded a short video, and they were one minute poses from reference, and a while back I mentioned that I would do a video where I would just go in and detail it. So that's what I'm going to do today. And if you're new um, to my videos, I sketch every day and I set a five minute timer, which I'm going to do right now. And if you just want to sketch for five minutes and use this as a timer <laughs> or as just like a, a way to be motivated to sketch, then feel free to do that. Um, so yeah, I have like a bunch of thoughts about this, so take some time to warm up. So yeah, they're one minute poses from reference, and I would like to do a video where I kind of go over my thought process on doing that, um, but not today. But you can see in the, the short, the video short, um, and there's different ways of approaching it and it doesn't have to be a minute, but it's kind of fun. So there's that. And then I have other videos where we come up with the sketch, uh, like the pose from imagination. So since I already have some poses here, it's a little bit easier to just uh, imagine a pose. And as far as the, how to set up the figure, um, I have <clears throat> a lot of videos about that. So yeah, just to get warmed up, I'm going to basically do a pose that is in the style of these one minute poses. Um, and it's just doodling. <laughs> Everything turns into medieval for me. So that's where my, my mind is at with my fantasy story. So, yeah, so that's from imagination, but kind of the style of these, and these were from reference. Um, so whichever, whichever works for you. And then just for me to get warmed up, I'm going to basically detail like I said, but also make like a nice looking sketchbook page just for myself. And by doing that, you can um, sort of experiment with different things that maybe you wouldn't think of drawing, but then it just kind of happened. So that's kind of, I just scrolled my Pinterest and did one minute poses or look, maybe I looked up like pose reference or something like that. But then just came up with random stuff like this. So when I do things like this, um, what I like is to, one, it could just be warming up also playing around with like the the pen whatever pen you're using could be good and then playing around with like textures um, like just different looks that again you might not have thought of just sketching on your own 
So I'm just scribbling. <laughs> and so it's a mixture of doodling and scribbling. And I guess the gestures themselves is kind of like thumbnailing. It's like a thumbnail. So I'll just um, sort of play around with different textures. Excuse the lawn mowing. I started a little bit later. I just kind of have to live with it. But this way, you can kind of come up with how you might draw things, render things. But also warm up. Yeah, I hope everybody had a good weekend. And I have some ideas for this week. <clears throat> but we'll see so that's five minutes I'll start another five minute timer um, and so that's basically what I'll be doing in this video but then I was thinking about my channel and like the focus of it and stuff and like the main thing is this like just sketching every day is like the main thing and my thoughts on that is I mean, don't make yourself sketch every day, but if you want to build a habit, that's why I do the five minute thing, because um, it's helpful. And, and also I, I use that for other things like writing. I'll do five minutes of writing. But even if that seems like a lot, then just do one minute. And if that seems like a lot, then, because right now I kind of feel that way with writing. So I'm doing a thing where I just write three sentences for my book. <laughs> so here, I messed up this one. So now I'm going back and Fixing it, I have to use the the white out. So anyway, these are pretty much detailed. I did want to talk about this one because when you're doing your gesture drawings, so again, this was from reference, but. It also teaches you by doing the, the quick ones. It teaches you how to come up with your own. So for example, like right now, I'm going to draw this leg, but it's going to be from imagination. So, um, or just from memory. So it depends on how you want to approach it. I mean, since these have a lot of the construction lines already, I'll just do construction lines and just see what I can remember um, of how to draw anatomy. Kind of like that. So that's one way to basically learn how to draw from imagination, although it started off from reference. But yeah, I want to do a video about ways of studying from reference. And then 
also <clears throat> you can just so even though this was what the picture had you can make it into something else like um, well like here the the face is pretty um, can I zoom in you can work off of this just see what comes up Yeah, if I, well, first of all, it's Monday, so they're cutting the grass, and if I record a little bit later in the morning, if it's recorded, I usually miss them. <clears throat> so this is just kind of fixing the sketch realizing that it's pretty small so I'm just kind of focusing on the the proportion but also it, it does kind of teach you about that's five minutes I'll start in another five minute timer like the proportions, like if you were to draw it more detailed. <clears throat> and, and the other thing is that you don't get lost in the details so that you can, um, like even if it looks kind of wrong, it doesn't, you didn't spend that much time on it. So yeah, it's a mixture of thumbnailing with drawing from imagination. It can help you figure out different things. right and also different ways of shading Think about the contour that can be helpful, especially on these that are, you can't really detail them too much. Sort of think about the silhouette. And also you can play around with lighting a little bit um, easier because it's, it's sketchy looking, so you just, to see Just practice I guess It's sort of like <clears throat> giving yourself notes about how certain things could work without um, feeling like you gotta have a finished drawing. It's 
so like I might not have wanted to do a like lighting like this on a bigger picture because one it, it it might take more work but if I have this then that helps me to get an idea um, then the next thing could be play with different um, Expressions. Just make up an expression. Again, this was from reference, but this is just from imagination. And then that way you can come up with your own style, your own way of doing things. And, and then also sometimes you'll get a character from it. another five minutes. And I'll start another one, which I guess I'll just draw this whole page, at least get it to like, this would be like the second pass. The first pass was the gesture. As far as like skin tone, when you're just using pen and ink, like even darker skin, you don't really need to shade everything. It's just, it's more of a gradation. It can be, I mean, there's different ways of doing it. You can make something look more cartoony, like this one kind of looks cartoony anyway. So, could have this just be like more cartoony. Exaggerate. Get killed. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, this 
Look at all the funny, interesting pose. Yeah, I just randomly sketch things. Pinterest can be pretty interesting. Overrun with AI. I, the other day, I didn't even realize I was using AI as reference. But yeah, that's just, this is like the second pass of, of a sketch to where it's kind of good to just, oops, <clears throat> add a little bit more detail, either leave it sketchy looking or do like the second pass here. And this is a way to to see if your like proportions work. It's another five minutes, I'll set another one. I mean time flies by, I have to admit. And then yeah, you might discover doing something, new way of drawing. Or shading. And then yeah, I mean if you run out out of ideas then just move on to the next one. I was pretty happy with how this ballerina came out. Or dancer, I don't know if she was a ballerina. It looks like a ballerina. But you might just want to like, if the gesture looks pretty good, just kind of accentuate, like why. But overall, I like the gesture a lot. And that's why it's fun to just kind of not overthink it because you can get these spontaneous drawings that are really fun right? and alive and spontaneous. So I'm gonna leave this one. And then this one was weird. So we just kind of wrap up this video with this figure here. <clears throat> I mean, it was interesting to draw someone upside down. It's an interesting challenge. But yeah, as we wrap up, I thank you for watching the video, joining me today. If you're new, hopefully you'll stick around. If you're returning, Thank you, welcome back. Um, anytime I sort of not sure what I'm gonna talk about, I just remember, I just remind myself that it's really about the the daily sketch that's kind of the purpose. This is definitely interesting pose. <clears throat> And then the next thing would be, um, along with the daily sketch, is how to draw from imagination is kind of like a big thing that sort of I didn't realize that was okay, an important thing for me. So yeah, like this is all just kind of made up from memory, but also from studies. And so it's a good way to 
it's kind of like when you're writing because I mean that's the other thing that I do or that I'm practicing like, to get better at is when you're writing you're not wanting to be looking at other books other people's books or constantly looking at the dictionary or something that to me that's kind of what reference is like like it's literally a reference book or like looking up the encyclopedia or something i mean you just want to write so that's what this is but there are also times to do studies and it's not an exact analogy because it is drawing it's a little different but <clears throat> it's kind of similar though and I think it's helpful to watch someone do it because then you can see that you can also do it. I'm just going to let the five minute timer run out. And yeah, until next time, keep on sketching.